let's talk about few use cases few big data use cases that is real life case studies let's talk about the very first use case credit card fraud detection guys all of us are using credit card let's talk about firstly problem statement a uh, us national bank which has a revenue of 10 billion dollars is losing 2% of its revenue that is 20 million dollars due to fraudulent card transactions what is the objective identify whether the requested transaction is fraudulent or not so guys to identify the frauds in the transaction is very challenging why because the time needed to complete the transaction is merely few seconds it's very less time so guys what are the different types of frauds let's take few examples like uh, a person is using credit card at 9 a.m from mumbai and just after two minutes from the same credit card request came from chennai second transaction must be stopped there is something wrong or if we take another example like usually we use uh, we do the transaction in INR suddenly a request in USDs that also quite big amount usually we do the tra transactions from India suddenly a request from UK so these transactions must be checked now guys the issue is that the time required for doing a transaction is very less how much time do you need to take a, to finish a transaction once you supply your credentials hardly if i say few seconds just so during that time my data needs to travel to transaction systems it will be authorized in my transaction system now the data will travel to analytic system where it will be analyzed for the fraud cases now guys in the second in the analytic system we just ha we have just few milliseconds to analyze whether there is any fraud fraud case or not there is any issue in this transaction or not so guys the data needs to be processed in real time that is data in motion analytics we don't have that much time that we will store the data and analyze we will index the data then analyze no so guys this is called stream analysis this is called data in motion analysis this is called real time analysis so that's it about the first use case credit card fraud detection a simple use case let's proceed ahead use case sentiment analysis what is the objective identify the orientation of opinion in a piece of text your data might come from blogs user review websites user comments community websites social media and so on so guys sentiment analysis provides substance behind the social data it processes the language and understand consumer feeling and attitude towards the brand or topics in the online conversation so guys every business wants happy customers then only customers will refer more customer and they will be loyal each and every customer facing industry today use this particular project use this particular tool to identify whether their customers are happy or not what exactly they are writing about this company whether they are writing positive negative or neutral let's understand from another perspective another use case of sentiment analysis guys if any company is launching any product a new product suppose you are a owner of a company and you are launching a new product how will you come to know whether that product is successful or not whether people are liking that or not from the sales figure if we talk about conventional way usually from the sales figure we come to know about this so guys sales figure across the globe sales figure from across the globe will take time usually conventional time is in months usually like if we talk about little older cases it was like almost six months but guys during that particular time if we take a rough figure of three months during that particular time during these three months millions of pieces of this product will be manufactured my sales reports all the analysis all the customer analysis reports will come in the traditional way and i come to know oh, more than 80 percent of the people are saying negative there is some big bug big issue people are not liking my product the company will be having very big loss because millions of pieces are manufactured what will they do for this so guys by the way this was one of the reason uh, one of the uh, problem statement that we got from our client 
so what we did what we shown them the solution that we shown them is sentiment analysis which enables the business to take early decision rather than wait for sales reports today you are launching your product today end of the day i'll give you the reports whether people are saying negative or positive what we'll do we'll collect the data from blogs user comments review websites community websites facebook twitter all the places from all the places where people can write we will collect the data from all the locations and we will analyze the same we will analyze that particular data and at the end of the day guys we can tell like say for example if uh, for a particular product 80 percent of the people are saying negative oh business can take immediate action business can stop the production immediately now next question from the business what we got if people are saying negative what negative what exactly they don't like say for example for a particular mobile phone people are not liking its touch people are not liking its camera quality of camera few examples a random example so sentiment analysis will provide you the reasons as well that these 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 are the reasons why people are not liking your product people are saying negative what negative what things they are saying negative people are saying positive what positive they are saying let's proceed ahead okay let's take another example another use case retail data processing so in this particular use case i have also worked so it's a little old story so guys my client is getting a retail leading retail client in india they are getting 100 gb of invoice data in xml format invoice data needs to be processed and transformed into structured format which involves very complex validation since this was the invoices so verification and validation was very complex and business rules again much too complex so guys the problem was the problem statement if i highlight legacy systems are incapable of processing the data in optimum time period if i talk about their conventional approach they were processing their data using Perl. And the time taken to process the data using the conventional approach was 10 hours. We got the requirement from the client. If we can reduce this time to 5 hours. Although those days it was almost impossible. It was almost impractical. That reduced directly by 50%. So guys we developed the solution in the big data. We developed the solution in Hadoop. Time taken to process the data, time taken to process the complete data was merely 10 minutes. We have reduced the time from 10 hours to 10 minutes on a cluster, surely on a cluster of 10 nodes. That's the beauty of big data. That's the speed, efficiency. That's why big data is coming into mainstream. By the way, it already came into mainstream. Uh, we have already deployed at many places in the production. Let's proceed ahead let's talk about another use case that is from Sears Holdings a leading retailer guys Sears Holdings has 4000 stores with millions of products and 100 million customers Sears has collected over 2 petabytes of data so far now guys what exactly is the problem it's very interesting guys when you see the difference in output you will be surprised really again their problem statement is legacy systems are incapable of analyzing large amounts of data to personalize marketing and loyalty campaigns if we talk about their conventional approaches for analyzing the data they have analyzed just 10 percent of customers data for personalizing loyalty campaigns guys they have used mainframes teradata and ss now guys processing time to analyze 10 percent of data was six weeks they shifted to big data they shifted to hadoop now guys they shifted to hadoop 300 node community cluster community servers look at the beauty look at the difference time taken to process 100 percent of customer data is now merely one week compare this 10 percent six weeks 100 percent one week interactive reports can be developed in three days instead of 12 weeks 
six to twelve weeks. So guys, it saved millions of dollars in mainframe and RDBMS cost, and they got. Look at the performance improvement, guys. It's five thousand percent better performance. It increased their revenues through better analysis. Okay, another interesting use case: market basket analysis. Okay, understand this. The objective is to market basket analysis of a customer. So, guys, market basket analysis provides the retailer with information to understand the purchase behavior of buyer. It enables the retailer to understand buyer's needs and rewrite the store's layout, and they can develop cross promotional program or even capture the new buyers. What exactly is this, guys? If a person is purchasing milk and bread, what is the probability that he will purchase butter also? What is the probability that he will purchase egg also? So we are analyzing users, customers basket. If a customer is purchasing two product, which third product he likely to purchase? If we take one example of the transaction that include milk, seventy one percent include bread also, forty three percent include eggs also, twenty nine percent include toilet papers. So from my all the historical data, suppose of last ten years, I'll analyze it and I'll understand users' buying pattern. So guys, to increase the sales, retailers are trying to make stores more customer friendly by analyzing the users' buying pattern. They can identify what items they bought together. So guys, to make stores more customer friendly, these items can be put together. and apart from that relevant campaigns can be run to attract new buyers if say 29% chances is there that he will purchase the toilet paper we can put a promotion there 10% off now the probability will increase from 29 to 40 in this manner they are running cross promotional campaigns like the customer from one uh, particular category they are targeting that customer to another categories as well they are able to identify each and every customers based on their patterns purchasing pattern they can clusterize their different customers now to a particular cluster to a particular group of customer different campaign is there so guys uh, these particular types of analysis earlier started by walmart now all the retailers are following the same let's proceed it so guys if we talk about few more big data use cases if let's talk a little quickly we'll discuss with time all these use cases it infrastructure optimization tons of projects are running to optimize the infrastructures to analyze how much resources exactly you need based on that the planning is done advertising analysis another use case so guys earlier the advertisements were broadcast now the advertisements are unicast they are highly content driven today even small players small retailers they are able to identify each and every customer differently and they provide different offers to different customers surely we talked about google in the same predictive analysis predict the future what will happen how much will be the sales people are pretty much interested in the same to take the decision customer churn analysis biggest issue of customer facing industry customer churn they are analyzing customer churn to improve their services they are finding out the reasons why people left them and now they are improving their services another use case aadhar project by government of india guys all your fingerprint scans retina scans are stored in the big data weather forecasting now with the help of big data it's improving like anything healthcare analysis so guys i am having very nice use case of uh, cancer analysis that we'll discuss later natural resource exploration again petrol companies they are using big data to generate the patterns undiscovered patterns while uh, exploring the natural resources So guys uh, that's it about the use cases few more use cases we will discuss with time during our sessions